The Mark 110, it fires the 57 mm round, which is pretty small by naval weapon standards. It is an incredibly versatile warhead because you can program it to do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's highly advanced 57 mm round, with a firing rate of 220 rounds per minute. You better not blink. The targets? Two small boats, positioned across the lake. The rounds have been programmed to explode above the targets in airburst mode. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fire! Low motion, you can see how the rounds detonate above the boats. The precision timing of the fuse guarantees the tungsten fragments have the most devastating effect. But the time mode is just one of six different settings this multi function round can operate in. Incredibly, the fuse can be programmed to engage any threat and guarantee the best hit. When we designed the gun, we basically had to design it to be able to take on any threat that is available out there today. The 3P round, 3P ammunition, is perhaps the most important factor and that makes this weapon unique. The base of it is actually um, a little radar to transmit radar signals. Let me get this straight. You, you're saying this is basically a miniature radar. Yes. And you can program it any way you want it to perform. If you want it to perform at the last second so it doesn't give itself away, it can do that. That's true. Uh, proximity fuses has been around for a while, but the really unique thing with this is that it is programmable in a time mode as well. In time mode, the warhead detonates at a specific time and distance after it's left the gun. In proximity mode, the fuse triggers when it gets close to the target. There are even three different proximity settings to choose from, depending on the target. Up against big, heavily armored targets, the impact mode explodes the round on contact. To do all of this, the sophisticated electronics in the fuse also have to be incredibly tough to withstand the extreme force of the launch. What kind of G-forces are we talking about this thing having to sustain? Uh, it actually had to sustain some 60,000 Gs. 60,000 Gs? 60,000 Gs in <laughs> the moment of firing. Between the moment of launch and leaving the barrel, the round is accelerated to nearly 3,500 miles an hour. It's subjected to a force of 60,000 times the Earth's gravitational pull. To give you some idea of what that means, at those sort of Gs, a baseball has an effective weight of eight and a half tons.